Two generations exhibit at the Revolving Art Incubator in Lagos. While one is a photographer, the other is a visual artist. Now, both of them have been influenced by time and space. Let's meet these two members of the Moore family. The recipient for this year's uh, Artist uh, Work program is uh, William uh, Ifeyi Moore and uh, Miki Akasoloye Moore. After completing the Artist in Residency program organized by the Revolving Art Incubator, William and his uncle Mickey are showcasing all they have learned and more at this exhibition at the gallery in Lagos. The residency permitted me to have a new thrust in my career as an artist because I discovered uh, what I've been thinking of doing a long time, to work with a unique and natural uh, material. Mickey Moore is an artist with over 20 years experience, but he's been off the radars for 13 years until now, with good reason. But now, he's got his groove back. The reason is I've been painting, I've been painting and uh, selling my works. I've never gathered really enough works to exhibit. And uh, I didn't think exhibiting was uh, the only thing to start from. I needed to paint and now I'm ready for exhibition, that's why I'm out for exhibition. I try to capture the little everyday happenings. I try to freeze it. And in the appreciation of the little things we, are, we neglect, you will find messages. You find messages inside that can help us to detoxify the globe, so to speak. His nephew, William, is a poet and photographer who finds expression in words and images, especially for things that people are hesitant about. My work is a title Uncensored, and it's sort of around subjects that people don't normally like to talk about, so sort of a taboo subject. So I've tried to go through a range of uh, things that people don't want to talk about publicly and also things that people don't want to talk about um, privately. I have like a million and two stories, but um, uh, I have a published novel which is uh, set in 1807 and it's about how an Osu, which is like half an uh, outcast, outcast in Igbo, um, who is in love with this girl who is uh, in a family of high standing and how they kidnap him and set him into slavery to keep him away from her. So that's like a tiny snippet. These creatives express themselves via different mediums and the inspiration varies from their environment to their forebears. I'm inspired by the things around me. So having worked in an environment that is so natural for a long time, I needed to explore more of a natural uh, environment like working on mat. So it's a new innovation I want to go into. I see it as a challenge, as an uh, adventure because I've watched the process of making the mat, and I know that mat making is something that has become almost extinct in Nigeria now. So I'm trying to add value to mat, encourage the mat makers to continue. Mat has multiple purposes. So I now choose to add another reason to use mat, which is using it as a painting platform. So I use mat to paint now, and I'm still going to do so much research. Um, I draw a lot of inspiration from different artists in different fields. So for writing, I like, um, locally, I like um, Chinua Achebe for just his style of being able to tell very complex stories in simple language. Um, I like Wole Shoenka, not so much for his actual story writing because he's very complex, but I like him for his uh, his philosophy, so the way he thinks about the things he writes, so his, his viewpoints in, in general. Um, uh, for poetry, uh, I like um, Charles Bukowski, who is an American late poet, who sort of introduced poetry that had some vulgarity in it. He didn't really stick to form. You know, he could have like poems without stanzas or verses. So for me, who I'm not like trained, like, and I didn't go to school to study literature. I studied pharmacy in school. So seeing someone sort of work outside the box was very um, um, inspirational for me as well. Uh, we have um, Miki, who is, belongs to the Generation X. Uh, he was born in 1965, uh, just shortly after independence. Uh, and obviously, uh, he grew up in a Nigeria which was in between um, the military and the civilian rule. And then also we have William, who was born in 1995. He's a millennial. Uh, and obviously he has a different idea. Now, Mickey was born in a generation where computers didn't exist, uh, where, you know, it was, it was more or less like an analog age. 
and we have William, who would refer to as a digital native. He was born into a period of uh, the digitalized world. So we're trying to sort of look at you know, the differences and the similarities between their means of expression, even though they come from the same family. All this dynamism and beauty is not lost on the visitors, who encourage them not to drop the ball. My favorite piece is actually the one behind me. <laughs> I like the collaboration with the, with the uncle and the nephew. Um, there's something beautiful about the different generations coming together and being able to create work that is very different but still um, connects very well. There's a wide uh, amount of diversity in, uh, in the artistic scene in Nigeria, at least from my own two, three years of following it. Uh, and I think that's probably going to get better uh, because um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of people are doing very interesting works. Uh, showcasing their talents and uh, enriching the environment in Nigeria. Even though they are from different generations, one thing that binds them together is that these artists have explored topics many people don't want to touch and are anxious to conquer new territories the next time they exhibit. Nice to see different flavors from the same family. Just like Nathan was motivated by the coconuts in Badagri, Mickey has been inspired by the Korodu area, still in Lagos. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. Next week on Art House. It's celebration galore at the Art House space as art lovers gather to see the works that have been chosen for the auction and felicitate with CEO of Art House Contemporary, Mrs. Kavita Chalarams. Then we move to the Abafe Miawolo or University, Ileife, Oshun, where the Ivory League honor veteran artist Adebayo Faleti with an exhibition, drama, and more. That's coming up on the next edition of the program. Whether it's bicycles, mats or coconuts, it's good to see artists using what's around them to create lovely works of art. I remember veteran artist Timothy Fassi is always emphasizing that artists should think out of the box and stop complaining about the price of art materials. And that's how the curtain falls on the program. But you know where to find me or any of our online platforms. And don't forget to tune in next week. As you saw on the teaser, we'll see a preview of the works of art that went under the hammer at the auctions in Lagos while celebrating two people making an impact in the art world. I'm Melinda Akinlami.